Hello everyone and welcome to Talent Sprint. Our discussion in this session will be on coordinate geometry which is also known as analytic geometry. Here we study geometry with the help of a coordinate system. What is a coordinate system? Well this is a system where we use a set of values or a set of numbers to uniquely locate the position of the point in the given plane or the given space. There are different types of coordinate systems but the most commonly used one is the Cartesian system. In the Cartesian coordinate system the plane is described with the help of two mutually perpendicular lines and any point in this plane can be uniquely located with the help of two numerical values which are known as coordinates and these values denote the distance of that point from these two mutually perpendicular lines. Let us understand in detail about the Cartesian coordinate system. So as I've mentioned, a Cartesian coordinate system is the one which is described with the help of two mutually perpendicular lines which are known as the coordinate axis or simply axis. So as we see here, there are two mutually perpendicular lines which intersect at a point O which is known as the origin. The horizontal line indicates the horizontal direction of this plane and the vertical line indicates the vertical direction of the infinite plane. This horizontal line is known as the horizontal axis, right, which is denoted by x, o, x dash and it extends up to infinity. Whereas the vertical line is known as the vertical axis, which is denoted by y, o, y dash, which again extends up to infinity. Right? So these are the two mutually perpendicular axes which intersect at the point O known as the origin. So what do we understand from these two lines? Here on both the perpendicular axes I have indicated only the integral values that is plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 and so on and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. But in between 1 and 2 we again have infinite values which can be further denoted if required. Now as we see here, these two mutually perpendicular axes or the coordinate axis divide this plane into four different regions, right? Region 1, region 2, region 3 and region 4. And these regions are known as quadrants. So here we have got four quadrants. This is quadrant number 1, right? Quadrant 1. Here is quadrant 2. This is the third quadrant and here is the quadrant 4. Now what is the difference in each of these quadrants? If we observe in quadrant number 1, we find that we have got the positive x-axis and the positive y-axis. In quadrant 2, we have negative x-axis with the positive y-axis. The quadrant 3 covers the region which is described by negative x-axis and negative y-axis. Whereas the last quadrant, quadrant 4, covers the region described by positive x-axis with negative y-axis. Now as I have mentioned earlier, in the Cartesian coordinate system, we locate the position of any point with the help of coordinates, which are basically the distance of that point from the two perpendicular axes. Right? Let us say there is a point P on this system. Right? This is the point P. Now the location of this point is decided with the help of two coordinates, which can be represented by an ordered pair. So x, y is known as an ordered pair. Right? So these are actually two numerical values. Now what does these two values indicate here? The distance of the point P from x axis and y axis or the horizontal distance and the vertical distance of the point P. Right? For example, let us take the point P here. If you observe, uh, when we try to map it to y axis and x axis, where does it meet? Right? Let us let's take this. So what do we see? The point P, when you try to draw a line from point P towards x, y axis, it meets 4 and when we draw a perpendicular on x axis it meets 0.5. So we see that the distance of the point P, the horizontal distance of the point P is 5, right? From 0 it is up to 5. So x is equal to 5. Whereas the vertical distance of point P is 4, right? The vertical distance of point P from x axis is 4. So y becomes 4. So we can say that the point P here is described by the order pair 5 comma 4 where 5 is the distance of the point from y axis which is the horizontal distance and 4 is the distance of the point from x axis which is nothing but the vertical distance. So this is known as an ordered pair and the values x and y are called as coordinates. Specifically x here is known as abscissa. 
or we can say the uh, horizontal distance is known as abscissa whereas the vertical distance y is known as ordinate right so uh, this is how we can describe the location of a point or this is how we can locate any point in the cartesian coordinate system now if you observe both the coordinates in quadrant number one represent positive values because the quadrant one is described by positive x-axis and positive y-axis so here we will find that always the ordered pair will have positive values both the values are positive now what happens in case of quadrant two since it is described by negative x-axis and positive y-axis the ordered pair will have negative and positive values respectively so if we take any point in the quadrant 2 the abscissa will be a negative value right and the or, uh, ordinate will be a positive value likewise in quadrant 3 as it is described by both negative x axis and negative y axis the ordered pair will have negative values both the values will be negative and in quadrant 4 positive x axis with negative y axis so any point in this plane can be described simply with the help of an ordered pair right which is uh, giving us the distance of that point from both the mutually perpendicular axis and the origin of this coordinate system which is nothing but the intersection of both the mutually perpendicular axis is described by an ordered pair 0 comma 0 right because the point O the origin here is at a distance of 0 units from x axis and 0 units from y axis likewise let's say if you have to talk about this point right here is a point what do we see that this point is at a distance of two units from y axis which is the horizontal distance and at a distance of zero units from x axis it falls on x axis so the ordinate will be equal to zero if we take a point on y axis let's talk about this point this point can be described by zero comma six what does zero indicate the distance of the point from y axis which is the horizontal distance understand horizontal distance is always the distance from y axis vertical distance is the distance from x axis so what is the horizontal distance zero right it is on y axis the horizontal distance of this point from y axis is zero whereas the vertical distance the distance from x axis is six units so we can say that the point is described by zero comma six and likewise in any other coordinate we can uh, find out the location of a point with the help of the two uh, coordinates right abscissa and ordinate respectively so before we move on to the next part let's quickly look at uh, the location of a point in each of the remaining quadrants as well for example in quadrant 2 let's see uh, let's say we are looking at a point which is you know the intersection of these two lines right so this is the point p here right or let's say let's take this point as m right now what will be the coordinates of the point m the horizontal distance what's the horizontal distance the horizontal distance is minus 4 right so the point can be described by minus 4 and the vertical distance what's the vertical distance of this point 3 so minus 4 comma 3 likewise let's say we have uh, you know some point in uh, quadrant number 3 right if you look at the intersection of these two points right let's take the point as n now how can this point n be located we can say the horizontal distance is minus 5 whereas the vertical distance is minus 1 understand we are coming below the origin on the y-axis which is described by negative y-axis so minus 5 comma minus 1 and likewise in quadrant 4 let's say there is a point uh, r right point r which is right this is the point r let's say now what will be the coordinates of the point r the horizontal distance is 3 plus 3 whereas the vertical distance is minus minus 6 so it can be taken as 3 comma minus 6 and as we have learned earlier you see that the coordinates in quadrant number 1 will be positive right both are positive plus and plus the coordinates in quadrant 2 will be negative and positive so minus 4 and plus 3 in quadrant 3 both will be negative so minus 5 and minus 1 whereas in quadrant number 4 positive x axis so plus 3 and negative y axis so minus 6 this is how we can locate the position of any point in the cartesian coordinate system with the help of an ordered pair right that is x comma y where x denotes the distance of the point from y axis which is the horizontal distance and y denotes the distance of the point from x axis which is the vertical distance all right so the important point to be noted here is in the ordered pair abscissa what is abscissa here x right that x denotes the distance from y axis right distance from y axis or the vertical axis 
whereas y that is the ordinate denotes the distance from x axis. So distance from y axis is the horizontal distance and distance from x axis is the vertical distance. Alright, so let's say, you know, if the question says, what is the horizontal distance of the point 5 comma 4? The horizontal distance is 5 or the distance from y axis is 5. What the distance from x axis? 4. In this case, what is the distance from y axis? The distance from y axis is 4. See, actually it is minus 4, but minus only indicates that it is on the second quadrant. It is in the second quadrant, but the distance in terms of magnitude is 4. So the distance from y axis is 4. The distance from x axis is 3. All right. What is the distance from y axis? It is 5 and minus 1 is the distance from x axis. And likewise in the last quadrant here, the distance from y axis is 3, right? From y axis, the horizontal distance is 3 and the vertical distance, that is the distance from x axis is 6. Minus 6 indicates it is below the x axis. 6 is the magnitude which shows the distance from x axis. And also we can observe that if there is any point which is on the x axis, like in this case, uh, the point denoted by 2 comma 0, right? The point on x axis will always have an ordinate equal to 0. Why is it so? If the point is on x axis, its distance from x axis will be 0, right? Ordinate y is the distance from x axis. Now since the point is on x axis, its distance from x axis is 0. So it is very important to note that any point which is on x axis will have an ordinate equal to 0. And in similar terms, any point which is on y axis will have an abscissa equal to 0. Yes or no? If you look at this point, it is on y axis. What does x indicate? What does the abscissa, abscissa indicate? The distance from y axis. Now, since the point itself is on y axis, its distance from y axis will be 0. So, abscissa is 0 for a point on y axis. Ordinate is 0 for a point on x axis. And the intersection of these two axes is denoted by the origin, which is 0, 0, right? Now, if you observe this particular point, the origin denoted by O is on both x axis and y axis, since it is the intersection, right? The two lines meet at that particular point. Now, this point here falls on x axis and also on y axis. So, both ordinate and abscissa are 0. So, it can be denoted by 0, 0.